Hi everyone, I hope you guys are keeping well. In this video, I'm gonna talk about disc bulges and herniated disc. What are the differences between these two conditions and is the management of these two conditions are different from each other? At the same time, I'm gonna share with you a series of exercises that you can follow at home with minimum equipment for your recovery if you're suffering from disc bulges or herniated disc. In the meantime, you may experience sciatica symptoms if you're suffering from disc bulges and herniated disc that you can follow this routine. At the end of this video, I'm gonna share with you three important tips that I would highly suggest you to follow for your optimum results. Let's get started. If you've never been in this channel, my name is Bob, I'm a physical therapist and the purpose of this channel is to help people like yourself with simple tips and exercise for quicker recovery. Make sure to subscribe my channel for my weekly update and don't forget to press that like button. Unlike a herniated disc, when the nucleus breaks through the annulus, a bulging disc protrudes outward, but the outer layers of the annulus remain intact. However, because the disc protrudes into the spinal canal, it can still compress the nerve root and cause sensitivity and pain in that area. In comparison, a herniated disc is a condition affecting the spine in which the annulus fibrosis is damaged, enabling the nucleus pulposus, which is normally located within the center of the disc, to herniate. A herniated disc can compress the nerve or spinal cord, causing pain and spinal cord dysfunction. However, Disc bulges and herniated discs are part of our aging process and they are highly common in asymptomatic individuals. The symptoms are included pain at the site of the injury, pain, numbness or tingling in the legs, strong pain that tends to come and go, pain that worsens when bending, twisting or sitting, pain will relieve when lying down. In regards to management of the disc bulges or herniated disc, the recent meta-analysis has shown that two-thirds of disc bulges heal on their own and many of them within a few months. They have suggested that the conservative treatment may become the first choice of treatment for lumbar disc herniation or disc bulges. In this video, I'm going to share with you a series of exercises that can be applicable for you, that can help you to reduce your pain, improve your mobility, and help you to recover quicker. All right, guys, the first exercise that I'm going to share with you guys is gonna be cat camel, which is a very simple, low impact exercise. If you're suffering from disc bulges or herniated disc, that you can apply this exercise in acute or chronic phase. Let's get started. You're gonna be on quite a pet position, your hands underneath of your shoulder and your knees underneath of your hip and you're going to basically mobilize your lower back and your upper back you're going to breathe in and out try to focus around the range that you feel comfortable and you're going to gently try this exercise for three sets of eight to ten repetition three to four times through the day Try to relax your back. Breathe in and out. As you can see, I'm going pretty gentle and slow. I'm going to try this exercise with the same tempo. I'm going to move on to back extension, which is one of the most exercises that you should follow if you're suffering from disc bulges or herniated disc. I'm gonna share with you how to try this exercise and you can slowly give it a try. You're gonna be in prone position, face down, and you're going to start this exercise with slightly extending your hip up to this level, which means even bringing your chin up to your hands can be a good start. In this position, you're going to breathe in and out, and if you find comfortable, you need to Hold your hands next to your body in a push-up position and slightly shift your body and upper body off the ground. 
In this position, you can feel that your lower back muscles are activated and you're going to slightly hold in that position for two to three seconds and then back to the starting position. As you practice this exercise a couple of rounds, you will find the range of movements become more comfortable and you have more range to go through. We're going to progress this gradually to a slight mini push-up. You can go down, breathe in and out, back up again and gradually progress to the point that you can feel that your upper basically rib is off the ground. You're breathing in and out and holding it for three to five seconds gradually and coming back down to the starting position. The best, most important thing is that about back extension that you want to avoid is to avoiding bringing, lifting your hip off the ground. Your hip should be always on the ground to the point that you can control your movement. Now, you're going to try this exercise for three sets of five to eight repetition, slow tempo, you want to control your lower back and gradually progress this to maybe eight to ten repetition. I'm going to move on to the next exercise which is basically a kickback in a quadruped position which is a great exercise that can activate your core but at the same time strengthen your glute muscle. I'm going to share with you and you can give it a try. You're going to be in quadruped position and you're going to gently start with lifting one leg off the ground and coming back. We're going to try the same thing for three to five repetition in each side. While I'm doing this movement, as you can see, my lower back and upper back is stable. I'm not shuffling and I'm trying to control that level of movement in my lower back. This exercise can activate your core muscle. You're going to breathe in and out and whenever you find it's getting comfortable, you can try to progress this exercise to one hand and alternate leg at the same time. It looks pretty easy, but as soon as you start doing this exercise, you can find it's actually pretty challenging. If you're suffering from disc bulges and herniated disc, especially in a chronic way, Study and research has shown that strengthening your core can be beneficial for your improving your symptoms. You can try this exercise two to three times a day for three to five repetitions in each side. I'm going to move on to figure four stretch, which can actually ease off your hip and your gluteal area. And in the acute and chronic phase, you can try this figure four in different position. I'm going to show you in a kneeling and standing basic position, and you can give it a try. In, if you can lie on your back, this movement can be pretty effective. But you're going to cross your leg and you're going to bring one foot up and hold it in that figure four position. I can feel the stretch in my hip and gluteal area. And in many cases, if you are experiencing disc bulges and herniated disc, the hip muscle can be pretty tight. And you can try this exercise in both sides. If you find this movement is challenging and you can't be lying on your back, you can try this exercise with a chair. I'm going to share, share with you with a chair. You can use a chair. Like literally, you can cross your leg and lean forward can hold, have more control in this position, you can hold this position for 10 to 15 seconds in each side for three to four rounds. Try to do these movements in the side that it feels more stiff and tighter. You can try this stretch daily for three to five rounds and practice it in both sides. The last exercise that I'm going to share with you guys is going to be a progression of the first three exercises and it's pretty effective for you if you're suffering from disc bulges and herniated discs to follow this exercise whenever you felt comfortable that you can basically bending forward and doing squats and etc. 
These exercises can open up basically your hip, your ankle, and your lower back muscles and help you to become more mobilized. At the same time, it can help you to minimize your pain and improve your mobility. You're gonna need some sort of book, even size. I'm gonna show you in two different positions to basically try to understand how to do this exercise. You're gonna apply the books on the of your heels and we are going to gently go down and relax our lower back and let your body to relax in that position. Make sure to use the book, otherwise you might feel that you're basically falling back. And we're going to gently come up to the position that you feel comfortable. Breathe in and out and go back to the starting position. You're going to come back up, all the way up and slow control down. You're going to breathe in and out and follow this exercise for three to four rounds for three to five repetition each time. I'm gonna show you from the side. I'm trying to relax my back. Everything is relaxed in this position. You're not trying to hold your back. Try to drop your hip, drop your shoulder, breathe in and out. And you're going to go to the mini squats, come back up to the point that you feel comfortable and come down. Breathe in and breathe out. If you are suffering from disc bulges or herniated disc, this exercise can highly um, help you to reduce your pain, improve your mobility. Give it a try and let me know if you have any questions. I believe you still have one question in your mind that how long it takes my disc bulge or herniated disc to recover and what is my recovery time? Many study and research has shown that the disc bulges or herniated disc can take up to eight to 12 weeks for individual for fully recovery and get back to your full daily activity. However, in some cases, your recovery is based on what you do, which means if you are stay at home and do nothing about your basically back pain and completely rest, that could take longer for your recovery and your pain can become chronic. The three tips that I would like to share with you in this video can help you to minimize those setbacks and help you to recover quicker. The first tip that you need to follow is that you need to create a list of activity that bother your back and in acute and subacute phase, you should avoid those activity and bothering your back constantly. For example, if you know that sitting for prolonged bother your lower back pain, start avoiding that and give yourself rest every two 20, 25 minutes, stand up for a walk and get some break. The second tips that I would like to share with you guys is that you have to be consistent with your exercises in a daily basis. If you find this exercise helping you, please follow these exercises for at least eight to 12 weeks. Even though if you had no pain, I would highly suggest my patient to follow this exercise as part of their daily activity for optimum result. The last tip that I would like to share with you guys is that don't panic about your MRI report. MRI report is only one part of the puzzle and in many cases, we cannot make diagnosis based on your MRI report. Please don't send me or email me your MRI report because unfortunately I can't really help you based on your MRI report. If you need, for the assistant and you need a customized rehab plan, you can always book an online consultation with me and I will be more than happy to create transparency about your MRI report and what is the best protocol for you to follow for your optimum results. Leave me comments underneath of this video and I will be more than happy to help. Thank you for watching this video guys. If you have any question regarding disc bulges or any other disc, leave me a comment and I will be more than happy to help. If you need further assistance, as I mentioned earlier, you can always book an online consultation with me and I will be happy to help you. No matter where you live in the world, we can organize a session with you and start your rehabilitation right away. Don't forget to subscribe my channel for my weekly update and don't forget to press that like button. Until next week, all the best.